Well folks, I'm uh, heading back to the bushcraft camp. Uh, gonna do some more upgrades today. Uh, I think I'm gonna work on the fire pit. Uh, I'm gonna put a roof, or at least start the roof on the shelter. Uh, that'll keep some of the snow and the rain out of there. And uh, I'm gonna do uh, lunch and supper. And today I'm gonna do it in a pressure cooker on the fire, which is pretty sweet. Never uh, did that before, actually. Now the pressure cooker I got uh, yeah, you can use it on your stove, barbecue, campfire. It's a thick piece of steel, basically. And um, yeah, it should be pretty good. Pretty excited to try it out. Hey folks, how's it going? Uh, back at the bushcraft camp again today. It's a nice beautiful day. It's going up to 17 degrees. The sun's starting to come out. Today we're going to do a little work back here. Uh, I'm going to put a roof, I think, on the overhang here. And then, uh, well first I'm going to do a fire pit. i got to get the fire pit sorted out because today we're doing lunch and supper on the, the campfire. So today it's going to be in a pressure cooker. It's going to be like a beef stew sort of thing. Should be pretty cool. And anyway, we look forward to doing that. I tried this pressure cooker out at home on the barbecue already, um, but you can put it on the campfire as well. So I'm gonna do that today and uh, we'll check that out and see how that works out. I think it's gonna work out good because it worked out great at home anyway. Anyway, I gotta go get some rocks, get this fire started because it's getting close to lunch and uh, I'm gonna start the lunch and then that's gonna be supper as well. So uh, let's go gather some rocks. All right, so I got the fire pit shoveled out. Got some rocks here. Got a couple more behind me. That took a while. Walking around here, getting all the, the rocks. And the black flies are out, so that's great. Probably see them swarming me. Anyway, I gotta get this fire pit sorted out because I'm getting hungry. And then we'll uh, start that roof. So this rock here's got a bit of a divot in it. And so I had to dig a little hole there so it'll lay flat, hopefully. We'll build around that. It's nice and flat here to set stuff. And uh, just enough to keep the fire from crossing the ground. So this is the Men Grills pressure cooker I'm going to use today on the campfire. And uh, I'm going to make a beef stew. There's the vegetables. That there's just the cover for it. 
and that uh, tightens down on top of this when all the food's in it. So I guess you can use it on the stove. I already used it at home on the barbecue, and today I'm going to throw it right in the fire, cook up a nice supper and lunch, actually. So I'm kind of excited to try this out. This one's an 8 liter. I guess they come in a bunch of different sizes. Anyway, you can check it out on the Men Girls website. All right, so we just gathered up some wood here. I'm gonna get this fire started. This might get rid of the bugs. Now that we've got some coals to work with, we'll get that uh, pressure cooker on here. We'll get the meat started. And I'll just set it right here. Alright, so we just got the meat in there some oil put that on the fire right now close to being cooked. Look at my stew stick. It's a dandy one. Alright, so the meat's pretty much done. I'm going to add in the veg and water. So I got some uh, mushrooms in here, potatoes, celery, parsnip, carrots, there's onion, uh, there's the meat down there. What else did I put in here? I think garlic, salt, and pepper, and that's it. Then I'm going to add a little Montreal steak spice. That's what I tried at home and I really like that. So get a little bit of that in there. Just put a little bit of that. Might be a lot, but oh well, it's good. So for this last time, I just put water right up to the top of the veg. That seems to be enough. This could cook a big meal for a group so if you're into ATVing or group camping this would be awesome. So this time I'm going to put it on tight and then every once in a while when it's on the fire just swish it around like that and nothing's going to stick. So it's perfect. All right, we'll have a little lunch. Try this out. Mm. Nice thing about this though, we can just put the cover back on that, put it back over by the fire and keep it hot. And I'm gonna have it for supper too, because there's lots in there. Oh, it's delicious. So, when I actually put this on the fire, 
and when it was ready, it was about 30 minutes max. I think it was like 25. Mmm, that's perfect. What I did is I went around to the four corners here, here, down here, and over there. Threw some Canadian jam knots in, so it's nice and sturdy for right now. And then I fixed it to this post that's way in the ground. So the whole thing's actually pretty sturdy right now. So what I'm going to do next, I'll just cut all the logs to length, throw them up there. And i got to get some more paracord because I ran out. I'm going to fix all the main beams with another few square square lashings just because I don't want that to come down with snow on it. about half the roof done. Kind of looks like a little bunker. Whew. All right. Well, I just went and cut some trees. I still got to clean them up, cut them, and get them up there. But it's supper time. I'm hungry again. That's what's great about this. You just throw it on the fire and keep it there all day. It's nice and hot. Yep, it's even way better now. That's been sitting there all day. Well, the roof's coming along good. Like I said, uh, I have a few more trees that I cut down. Not green, they're dead. And uh, I just gotta trim them up, get the sticks off them, cut them to size, bring them over, I'll throw them up there. It's, it'll probably get half more of that done, I think. Uh, I won't get it all finished today. I'm gonna have to pack up here pretty soon and take off, but. So here's what it's like from underneath. It's pretty cool.
All right, that's uh, it for today, folks. I'm uh, just going to finish up here uh, packing up, and then I'm going to head out for the day. I think I got enough done on the shelter today. There's about 75% of the roof finished. Uh, I'll come back another day, finish that off. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit that like button down below. And until next time, peace.